What is going on everyone? This is Ninja Geek here and in today's video I want to tell you and teach you how to disable the DLC in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 for the Xbox One. And uh, I recently got the Season Pass recently, with, so I got the Awakening DLC on it, and the other DLCs are to come as follows. But, of course, you know, I'm making this video after the Awakening DLC came out, so it should work for the other DLCs when they do launch. But I'm going to tell you how to disable the DLC in Black Ops 3 on the Xbox One. Of course, Treyarch did not put the option in to disable the DLC in the actual game. So you can see right now I do in fact have the Awakening DLC. I can go into the Awakening DLC playlist. But how do you disable the DLC? There are two methods or there could be more than two. But so far there's only been two. There's one mainstream method which I'm going to show you again now just so you know. So basically you head over to My Games and Apps. This is the first method. You go over to your Black Ops 3 game. Hit the start button on it. Then go to Manage Game. And there you can see all the content for the game. Now, you, what you want to do is go over to the Awakening DLC, and whenever you don't want to play the Awakening DLC map, so the zombie map, you just go to Uninstall, and it will uninstall that. And then whenever you want to play the Awakening DLC again, you just launch Black Ops 3, go into the store, and then go to Map Packs and just re-download the Awakening DLC again. It should tell you that you should be able to get it for free since you already purchased it. So that's method number one. It's pretty self-explanatory. But the problem with that is that it just gets out of hand. It's like, oh, now I don't want to play on the DLC. Oh, I'm going to have to uninstall it. Then I want to play on some DLC Zombies map. Now I'm going to have to reinstall it. It's just stupid in my opinion. So method number two is if you have a hard drive or flash drive, plug that into your Xbox One. I would highly suggest getting one anyways because the console doesn't come with lots of memory so i you know always have this hard drive plugged in whenever i have different games on it so what you want to do now is once you have that hard drive plugged in if you you know i know a lot of people are going to be complaining like oh no he's going to make me buy a hard drive great garbage uh terrible review no but listen you basically need a hard drive because most of these games flood up the, the internal anyway. So just get like a 500 megabyte external and you should be good. But anyways, you come over here to Black Ops 3, you hit Manage Game, and instead of hitting Uninstall, you hit Move. And I'm not going to hit it because I already have it on my external hard drive, but you hit Move and it should allow you to move it to the external hard drive. So now that this, you can see, is on the external hard drive and this rest of the stuff is internal... This DLC is on the external hard drive, so that means that in the case that I want to play Black Ops 3, let's go over to Zombies so I can just show you right now. Hopefully this loads pretty fast. We go to Private Game, Change Map. Oh, I can play on Derizendrock. Well, if I quit out of this, and let's say I want to play the multiplayer, right? So I go back, I hit Leave Lobby, I want to play the multiplayer, but oh crap, I don't want to play on the new maps because I don't, I don't really like them. I just want to play on the regular playlist, whatever. Well, instead of going here and being frustrated to play with the new maps, you just quit out of Black Ops 3 completely, reach down, or wherever your Xbox One is. For me, it's on the floor, so I'm going to reach down. Unplug that hard drive or the flash drive, relaunch Black Ops 3, and this is going to take a while for me, so I'm probably going to cut to the part where I'm actually in the game, but when you relaunch Black Ops 3, it will allow you to play no DLC maps. There's no DLC content because, remember, we put the Awakening DLC or the other DLCs for Black Ops 3, depending on when you're watching this video, we put those on the hard drive or the flash drive that you have. So now... You can, it's basically like essentially like having the old style where you can put DLCs on your hard drive uh, and you know it'll work off of the hard drive and then if you don't want to play it, it will, you know, you just plug, unplug the hard drive and plug it back in whenever you want to play it. It's pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy, and now you don't have to go and say, oh, I got to uninstall it, I got to reinstall it. Nope, you just plug in, plug out whenever you don't want to play it. It's pretty simple, so if you have any questions, if you're having trouble getting this on the hard drive, your hard drive, or anything like that, you could leave them below, help each other out. I don't know what other problems you would have, but uh, that's basically it for the end of this video. Leave a like, of course, if you did enjoy, and subscribe for more content. And as always, this is Ninja Geek. I'll see you on whatever my next video happens to be. And before we leave this video, I'm going to show you that this actually works. I just disconnected my hard drive. Uh, it uh, it didn't you didn't obviously see me because I have the game on, but I did disconnect the hard drive. And once you do that you will be able to load back into the multiplayer or the zombies, and you can see public match, find match, and see the Awakening DLC. I can't click on it. The downloadable content must be purchased to use it. So there you go, and then if you want to play it again, you always have to quit out of the game, and then plug the hard drive back in, and it should work. So that's it on this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one. I'm Ninja Geek. I'm out, and peace.